How's it going guys? Grimsy42 here and I have finally got for you my pickups from the 2015 Retropalooza 3. Uh, this was held in Arlington, Texas. It's ran by my good buddies Billy and Jay of the Game Chasers and this year was absolutely awesome. The convention was even better than the years before. I had a great time. There was just so many guests. It was ridiculous. Uh, the atmosphere was awesome. There was over 140 vendor tables. It was just ridiculous. But anyways, guys, I'm going to jump into these pickups because i got a decent amount to show you here. Uh, the first items I'm going to show you are pickups that I got from my buddy Joe Ross, who has... Um, he, he, he's from Cerulean Games, and basically it's him and his buddy Brody, and they basically uh, go to mo pretty much all the conventions around the country at this point, and they are known for premium goods, so they're like the uh, the Gucci video game store, if you will. And they've always got a great selection. One of the cool things about them is when they purchase games or trade, uh, they give a very fair value. So they're not the type of uh, guy that wants to like buy it for pennies and then mark it up a million bucks. So really, really cool, and I'm really grateful for them for hooking me up with these pickups. The first one here, you guys are probably going to laugh at me. But I've never actually owned this, and I've always wanted to. It just never uh, came into my possession. And it is a complete copy of Silent Hill. And basically, I don't know why, um, but I just gravitated towards the Resident Evil series, and I missed out on this one. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've now got parts one and two, so I think that's enough to get me started and uh, to check it out. This next one here, I want to say, is kind of like a, uh, I'll say a survival horror RPG. It's classified as gothic horror, but really, really interesting looking game by SNK. It's a four-disc game, and it's Kodelka. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, feel free to let me know if I've butchered that one below, but really happy to get this one. And the last game that I got from them is something that I've been on the lookout forever. It's an Atlas title, and I was a bit particular about the copy I wanted to get because this specific game came with a little bit of extra swag and I'll show you guys what I mean and the game is Thousand Arms and basically the extra stuff that I was uh, referring to get it out carefully here it's in really good shape so I don't want to uh, alter that but basically it came with uh, some memory card stickers and then this really cool like lenticular card so Definitely was uh, trying to keep my eyes open for a complete copy of this, and luckily Joe hooked it up, gave me a really, really good uh, condition copy here, and I got a really great price on them. So, once again, thank you for uh, the hookup there, Cerulean Games. I really appreciate it. Those will present well on my shelf. Some may get that joke. Anyways, moving along, I'm going to show you the one actual pickup that... Um, wasn't technically at Retropalooza, but basically how it works is Retropalooza actually took place in the middle of a vacation that my wife and I went on. So she was super thrilled to hear that I was going to be leaving. Uh, we were in Florida for three days. Uh, I was going to be leaving Florida to, to go to Retropalooza. Anyways, uh, while I was there, my birthday had just passed recently at the very end of August, and... My mother-in-law was kind enough to get me Mario Maker, and I'm a little bummed that I had to wait until mid-September to get this, because uh, I am a little bit late to the party now, but really enjoying it so far. It's fun. I'm starting to slowly unlock all the, uh, the level-making components, and I'm really excited to actually play this with the wife. Next one here, uh, this was actually given to me for free from Greg Honeycutt of Game Bros. Super, super grateful for that. Um, and there's a reason why, but you guys are going to have to wait a little while to find out why Mr. Honeycutt was so generous to me. But it is not complete, it's missing the game, but I already had the game, so we can call it complete. It is the Bomberman Party Pack. And as you can see, this is one of the big box uh, Super Nintendo games. And as far as I know, there's five of them. There's uh, Lethal Enforcers, Earthbound, Mario Party, Super Game Boy, and then this. So definitely really, really happy to get this one. It's the biggest of them, I believe. Uh, that's what she said. 
and it's really, really cool. It's basically just the game in the big box, and it comes with the super multi-tap that Hudson Soft made. So really, really cool, and definitely happy to get this one in the collection. This next one here is actually a gift from uh, a really, really nice guy named Brad. And basically, a little backstory on Brad is that how it all played out is basically he came into a copy of Stadium Events, and... He was kind of asking me for some information and stuff about it, and we get to talking, and I let him know that one of my most wanted games for the Wii is a game called Ivy the Kiwi. It was put out by Xseed, and it was the bane of my existence for the longest time. I just could not find it, and none of my GameStops had it, and I could have always gotten it off eBay, but GameStop only wanted like five bucks for it, so I was really holding out and trying to find it, and he was like, dude, I've actually got a sealed copy. You can just have it and he actually gave it to me at the show and as you can kind of see from that horrible glare there uh, this is a sealed copy and that's really really cool I've actually got this already for the DS so I'm probably going to keep it sealed really really happy to get this into the collection and thank you very much Brad for the hookup the next items I'm going to show you came from OK Chief and um, his buddy Damien this first one here, I'll just flash to you quick, I picked up from my buddy Mr. Sintastic, who's going for a complete Dreamcast collection, and it is uh, Namco Museum. So I knew he was on the lookout for games, so I was happy to help him get a little closer to his goal. This next one here, OK Chief just gave me, and as of yet, I've not been able to get to work. Um, it will power on in my Retron 5, but it's all blurry, so I, I just think I need to clean the pins a little. Unfortunately, I can't find a way to open it, so I'm going to have to think of something else but it is a copy of 76 and 1. It's one of those really cool, like, pirated Famicom games. And I'm told there's some really, really cool titles on here. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I can get this to work and uh, check it out. Maybe I'll even do a little mini review for you guys later if I can get it to work. The next one he also just gave me. Um, and it's cool because I had the box, but I didn't have the game. And this is uh, one of the worst games ever, according to most. And it is Superman for the N64. Really cool of Chief. Just giving me both of those, uh, definitely a stud as always, and Chief is uh, definitely one of my good friends in the YouTube community. These next two items came from a buddy of mine who I had met last year at Retropalooza, and I was excited to see him again this year, and eh, I don't know why he came bearing gifts, but uh, a really cool guy named Patrick, and really, really nice, uh, had a lot of time to hang out with him there, he's actually cosplaying as Ken, so it was really cool. This first one here uh, is Venus Wars. It's a sealed Japanese anime DVD. I'll definitely have to check this out. It looks pretty interesting. It kind of looks like it has a similar art style to most, you know, Japanese animes. Kind of looks like Speed Racer, but uh, really, really cool of him. I'm very grateful for that. So definitely was uh, really appreciative of that. And Patrick, being the generous guy that he is, tried to give me another gift and this one here is actually Super Soccer for the Super Famicom and I would not let him just gift it to me. Um, I had a few doubles that I was selling at my uh, table at Retropalooza and I told him the only way I would accept this is if he would take one of my doubles that he needed for his collection so we called that one an even trade and that worked out well for both of us. So once again it was really cool to hang out with Patrick again and I'm really glad that we got to spend some time. The next two items here are uh, games that I got from Scott Squatch from the Video Game Sellers. And the first one is something that I've been on the lookout for for a very long time. Not the rarest game in the world, but I never seem to find it with the manual. And finally, lo and behold, I have a complete copy of Superman. And of all the Superman games, in my opinion, this is one of the better ones. It's got really good graphics. It's a Sunsoft title. And this one is immaculate. I really cannot believe that Scott parted with this. He must have a really nice one for his own collection. But it's got the cartridge in there and then, like, literally a pristine manual. And then it also has this really cool kind of contest regist registration card thing. So really, really cool and really, really happy to get this one complete. Because, like I said, I had been on the lookout for it for quite some time. And I just... Could not find it with the manual, so I'm very glad I have it now. The next item that I got from him is a disc only of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkiachi 3. And I'm sure somebody will think I pronounced that wrong, but my Japanese is not that hot. So 
Um, I already had the case and manual for this, so really, really happy to get this uh, expensive Wii game complete. All right, a few more things to show you guys here. The number's a lot higher, but the, from the people I got them from, I guess. Um, and I guess I'll show you next a insane Sega Master System lot that I got from Billy McDonald. And basically, it is a ton of games, so I'm going to fly through them as quick as I can. Um, these were all ridiculously priced. Um, but like I said, I got a lot to show you, so I'll go quick. The first one here is Astro Warrior. He had five bucks on that. Next one, Cyborg Hunter. Never see this complete, so I was really happy to get that one. Enduro Racer. Gangster Town. I had this one as a kid, actually. Ghostbusters. Great Football. This one looks cool. Lord of the Sword. Kind of looks like a action platformer. Uh, another one here that looks interesting. Uh, Miracle Warriors. The Ninja. This one here I hear is really good. Ian from uh, Pat the NES Punk really likes it. Penguin Land. Next one is Rambo First Blood Part 2. Rambo 3. Had this one as a kid also. Rocky. This one looks really, really cool. Spellcaster. Spy vs. Spy. Time Soldiers. Thunderblade. Wanted. And last but not least, Zaxxon 3D. And the crazy thing is I actually got all of those games off of Billy for $80. And I thought that was an insane, insane deal. I mean, that's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, like 20-something games for 80 bucks. So insane deal. Billy McDonald definitely hooked it up. He had some really, really good stuff there. I will link his uh, information below and pretty much everybody I've mentioned in this video. So definitely check those guys out. But Billy was definitely a stud hooking me up with that sweet bro price. I did get two more games from Billy. Um, I actually got these bundled, I believe, for 20 bucks. Uh, the first one is Sim Ant. I've heard stuff about it, but I've never actually played it, so I guess it's a Sims sort of game, except you're insects. So, interesting sounding. I'll definitely have to check that one out. This one here I've already played. I really like it. It's kind of like a 3D uh, shooter of sorts. It really takes advantage of Mode 7, and it's pronounced, I believe, Axley or Axele. But, uh... Really cool early release Konami game. You can tell it's early release because it's flat here instead of indented because they used to have that little locking mechanism that prevented you from removing the cartridges. So really, really cool uh, to get both of those for the bro price of 20 bucks. I thought it was pretty fair. And the last item I'm going to show you guys is actually something I got from Gamester81. Something I really, really wanted to get my hands on. And luckily, um, he had a few extras. And this one is a little special, so uh, I'm super, super grateful to uh, get this into the collection. And I've actually tried it out. Um, I think I got like a 500-something thousand score. Um, so anyone who has it, kick my ass. That was my first ever attempt. But it is a brand new Game On Expo Retro Championship 2015. And I'll put it close so you guys can get a good look. This is cart number 42. I wonder why I wanted that one. And uh, really cool, there are only 200 of these made, and basically what it is, is using games, um, all new original games, Sydney Hunter, uh, it's got that really cool racing game in it, and then that like kind of Asteroids clone, um, Pedal to the Metal is the racing game, but really, really fun game, I enjoyed messing around with it, and definitely something that I really did not want to miss out on, so thankfully he had a few left and was able to bring them to the show, and I was able to pick this up, so... Thank you again very much to Gamester81 for that. But that is everything, guys. I really appreciate you sticking through uh, the question of the video, which uh, is something I'm going to start doing a little more, I guess, uh, every time now, as opposed to just sporadically. But what is your favorite gaming convention? And if you don't have one, have you ever gone to a convention? I'm just curious. Personally, Retropalooza is my favorite. Too many games is high up on the list. Um as well but just curious on what you guys think and also in a video game convention what do you look for like what is the main draw for you just something that i've been curious about but anyways guys thank you very much for watching i appreciate you sticking around to the end and until next time take care